Yeah, I was wondering if uh, Randy McDaniel's available, please. Hey, Mr. McDaniel, my name's Pete Air. I just want to let you know I'm recording this call for my records. Uh, I just wanted to have a conversation with you briefly. I just saw an article posted a couple days ago uh, that referenced that y'all are going to get a DHS uh, grant and that one of the things you're going to spend it on is uh, these Shadowhawk drone helicopters. Is that, is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. And I, I guess I was just curious. I mean, uh, this quote I see from you, uh, you know, you talk about its use uh, for like SWAT uh, call outs and narcotics raids and I, I, I wanted to question the uh, I guess the legitimacy of even continuing and escalating the war on some drugs I mean is it if there's no victim there's no crime so I don't know I guess I'm curious to hear your opinion on why you think it's good that people's money is being stolen to buy more hardware to then imprison more people that haven't hurt anybody Right, I understand that, but I guess my question, uh, to be more concise, apologies if I wasn't before, is uh, would the use, if and when it becomes online uh, to the specs that it, it uh, promises, would its use um, further uh, continue the rights violations, in my opinion, that stem from the war on some drugs? I mean, it's essentially, it's, it's telling people they don't have a right to use their body as they wish, and I'm not talking about people who, are, who hurt others. I'm just saying someone who's at home, I mean, if the use is for narcotic raids and, and, and to back up SWAT teams, I mean, I know that's uh, when they're used pretty uh, frequently these days. And I guess, I, so I question, like, further, I mean, not only are people being s stolen from to, to pay for these this equipment, but it's then going to be used to potentially cage people that are nonviolent and that haven't hurt anybody else. So I, I guess I'm wondering your thoughts on that question. Okay, I, and I know I'm sure you're busy. Don't want to keep you long, but I guess I just question like the uh, the use of the word crime. I mean, would you differentiate between something that's moral and immoral and legal and illegal? I mean, would you say that sometimes there's actions that aren't wrong but are still deemed illegal? Right. So, I mean, at any point, will you, uh, you know, vote with your conscience and choose not to enforce a law, a legislation that you think immoral? So let's say, I mean, let's say we were 150 years ago and there was the fugitive slave laws. Would you enforce those laws? Well, uh, I'm not going to get into a moral debate with you, sir. Right. On these issues. Um, uh, as you said, I am busy and I'm not, I'm not going to get on this phone and debate with you about the right or wrong. Okay, well, I appreciate your time, and I understand everyone's got different morals. I just ask that you think about, you know, your actions and how they, uh, the repercussions of them to peaceful individuals. You know, I hope that we could all live, uh, you know, 
peacefully and get along with each other and not have to resort to violence and threats of violence. So I just encourage you when you when you're interacting with with such folks to, you know, think about if if you're doing what's right or if you're just doing your job. And and your comments are duly noted. All right. Thanks for your time. Okay. Bye bye.